Glenn Kittle reporting live from Long Meadow Forest. Thank you, Glenn. Tomorrow, former President Donald Trump expected to be arraigned in Florida. This after an indictment was unsealed Friday, revealing he's facing 37 felony counts related to the mishandling of classified documents. Western Mass News reporter Kristen Burnell brought questions to Congressman Richard Neal about this latest indictment and its impact on democracy. I think the arraignment will give notice tomorrow as to what the nature of the charges are explicitly. And I think that uh, some of the damning testimony obviously has come from the president's own, former president's own lawyers. Former President Donald Trump has been indicted for a second time. This latest indictment revealing he is being charged with 37 felony counts related to the mishandling of classified documents. This was an unnecessary controversy given the fact that the Justice Department notified the former president and they demanded that those documents be returned. When they weren't, I think it upped the ante, and, and certainly from the Justice Department perspective, they had no choice. Congressman Richard Neal speaking to Western Mass News on Monday, sharing his reaction to this case brought on by the Department of Justice, as Trump's arraignment is set for Tuesday in Miami. I hope that the arraignment tomorrow will not be a circus-like atmosphere. I mean, the American justice system is also going to be heavily scrutinized here. This has not been the first time a former political leader has been found with classified documents. Back in January of this year, the National Archives asked former United States elected leaders to recheck for classified documents after it was discovered that President Joe Biden and former Vice President Mike Pence had documents in their possession. It has been an issue in presidential administrations for decades, dating back to former President Jimmy Carter. Willful intent is very important here, and that is that when uh, others were told that they had documents that had to be returned, they returned them immediately, and there was no criminality hinted at because of the speed with which the documents were returned. And as Trump continues his campaign to be the next president of the United States, Congressman Neal tells Western Mass News how he believes this latest indictment will impact the 2024 presidential race. Independent voters, I suspect, are going to have a very negative perspective on this. And I think that uh, certainly as, as time goes on, Republican candidates for president, as you've noticed in the last two weeks, have demonstrated a good deal more courage in terms of their critique. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Kristen Burnell.